part A, we're given a solution of H2O2, which is going to be your H2O. Mixed with a solution of NaCHO2, which is going to be your A-. minus. Because it's an acid and it's conjugated, we're going to use the hydrogen Hasselbach equation. So first you need to take your molarity of your acid. Times how much you have. And an easy way to convert the milliliters to liters is to just move your decimal space to the left three times. You multiply that through and you get your moles of HCHO2, which is going to be 7.5 times 10 to the negative third moles. And once again, that's your HA value. Then you're going to take your molarity of your NaCHO2, which is going to be 1 point, or 0.13 moles per liter. And you're going to multiply that by how much you have. Once again, convert to liters so that your units cancel out. And your answer to that is going to be 9.75 times 10 to the negative third of an A CHO2. And that's your A minus for the equation. Okay, next you're going to plug all of that info that we just got into the Henderson Hasselbach equation, which is this. We weren't given a pKa value, so it's very simple internet search. Just search up the Ka for HCHO2, and we find that the Ka is 1.8 times 10 to the negative fourth. Negative log, once again, because it's pKa, not Ka, and we found a Ka value, so we have to convert that to a pKa. And plug in your mole numbers that we got in step one, which were 9.75 times 10 to the negative third for the base, A minus, and 7.5 times 10 to the negative third for HA. Multiply all that through, and for the pKa, you should get 3.74. And for the log of the base over acid, it should have been around 0.11. You add those up, and you get a final pH of 3.85 for problem A. Problem 2 is the same thing, except we're given ammonia and ammonium chloride. So you're going to take your um, your molarity of NH3 and you're going to multiply it by how much you have in liters, which is 1.125. And your answer is going to be 0.0125. And NH3 is a base, so it's going to be A minus, even though it doesn't bear a negative charge. You're going to take your molarity of ammonium chloride. by how much you have 
much you have, which in this case is 0 0.250 liters. And you're going to get your moles of ammonium chloride, which is 0 0.025. in this case is your HA. Even though it has four hydrogens, only one is acidic. Okay. Then you're going to move on and once again plug it into the henderson hasselbach equation. And in this case, a quick Google search produced a pKa of 9.25. And then plugging in our values of 0 0.0125 for A minus. And 0 0.025 for HA. Sending that through a calculator will give you a pH of 8.95. And that's your answer.